Bots, scams, and spam messages threaten to ruin our favorite crypto projects out there and really threaten to ruin Web 3.0. Go back to the early days of AOL, Yahoo, and Craigslist. Well, wait a minute. Let's add MySpace to it. Even with MySpace, yep, they were all ruined by bots, spam, and scams. But we now have the same problem happening on the Stellar network. Let's explore this most recent one, and I'm going to show you how dangerous this is for our future going forward. And before we get to the story, super quick, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, we're going to have a live stream where we talk about CBDCs. I have the video up on the screen, and oh, yes, you guys let me know that this was a hot topic for you. Can we trust the government with CBDCs? Do we need a hybrid CBDC model? Do we have to go completely private? Judging by the comments, there is a lot of distrust out there regarding the government, all right? Here's one of them. Remember that our congressman needs anonymity. Also, remember they have more to hide than we do. That's exactly the point with CBDCs. So again, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday night, we're going to be talking CBDCs and what we're talking about now. So let's get to it. So as I was scrubbing the internet for a few articles regarding Stellar, I came across one and it just, you know, it really struck a chord on me. Doge Lumens, all right? So first things first, right? They're going after Lumens and they're also going after Doge. So we've got meme with utility. So I just started going through this. And what got me thinking about this was, again, think of MySpace. Think of how MySpace got ruined by bots, leeches, scams, and spam messages, right? Well, what about Doge Lumens? I'm not going to go big into what Doge Lumens is because I think you guys kind of understand where I'm going with this. But the big thing is that you now have companies like this, groups of people like this that are developing this anonymously. Yep, we're going to get to that. That develop this anonymously, try to steal the likeness of Stellar, saying they're built on the Stellar chain, which they are, not a big deal. It's an open source chain. But they provide no real utility outside of what's already present. You're like, well, Klaus, what do you mean? Well, Doge Lumens talks about the speed of their transactions, the safety. Why? Because it's built on the Stellar platform. They have a mission to empower the crypto community with a quicker, simpler, and less expensive alternative in the rapidly growing cryptocurrency world. We already have that with Stellar. So why did you have to make another token out there? They talk about the ecosystem, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, if you go through this whole Doge Lumens thing, okay, it is totally crazy. They are trying to capitalize on people assuming that this has something to do officially with Stellar. And you're like, well, wait a minute, Klaus, what are you talking about? We'll go to this part here. I'm going to go to their team, the veterans. The Doge Lumen teams combines a passion for blockchain industry expertise, proven record of finance and development marketing and licensing. So you have Doge McCaleb, who's the lead developer. I'm going to make sure I open up that Twitter account. You got Doge Dixon, senior developer. You have SmartBlock, who's the blockchain web dev. And you have Doge, who's community management. Boy, does this look a lot like Tomer Weller, how they did it with his glasses on there, like his image. That's exactly my point. They're trying to steal the likeness of Stellar and trying to siphon money off of the chain. You, you know what? Let's go big screen. So think about this premise. Think about this principle out here. Every day we have tons of new people coming into the crypto sphere. Now they see something like Doge Lumens and they're like, well, wait a minute. I've heard of Doge before. Lumens, Doge Lumens. Wait a minute. So now you're telling me I've got high speed, blah, blah, blah. All it does is take money and development away from Stellar. Think about that. All the money that goes into Doge Lumens, why not just put it into Stellar and develop the actual core chain itself? My whole problem with NFTs, crypto, and all that is I believe NFTs and crypto projects should add value to the chain, not take value away from the chain. In projects like this, like Doge Lumens, where they're essentially just Lumens, but with like a spam scam team behind it, yeah, an anonymous scam team behind it, problems like this, though, set the cryptoverse back further and further and further. And you're sitting here going, well, how can this be that dangerous? MySpace used to be an amazing platform, right? An amazing, like I would say maybe first, second gen, early second gen social platform. MySpace as a platform was a great way for people to share photos, music, interests, and so forth, completely ruined by bots. The core of MySpace was ruined by bot accounts and spam messages. Same thing with Stellar now. 
right? We have all these spam scheme tokens being built on the Stellar chain using Stellar likeness, using the likeness of the team Doge McCaleb, Doge Dixon, and then to use the, the picture that looks like Tomer, unless this is McCaleb, Dixon, and Tomer. And if it is, you guys, can you please write me and say, hey, this is us just doing like a pseudo project? But I really doubt it is. It's just someone using the likeness of that team. So the likeness now pulls value off of the chain. Now, how does it technically pull value off of the chain? Stellar's whole foundation is based in lumens, all right? All of their projects are funded in lumens. They've kept their money in their lumens pool. We've explored it on Stellar Expert. I've got the addresses in previous videos. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So if Stellar has 1 billion lumens, that's worth 20 cents. Guess what? They've got 200 million USD if they converted it to fiat to use, right? But now with all these scams and leech tokens, that's taking value away from Stellar. More money is not going into Stellar to further develop things. It's going into chains that are pulling the value off. Yes, pulling the value off of the chain, and that's my biggest problem. Let's talk about NFTs here real quick. And again, my biggest thing with NFTs is this. If you mint an NFT, if you create an NFT project, your sole purpose should be adding value to the chain, not taking it away, not rug pulling people, not developing a piece of crap NFT that all you're doing is you get money and whoever buys it gets crap. No, no utility, no use, nothing, okay? Let's use Doge Lumens for an example. They have digital copper, digital gold, digital silver, backed by nothing. So you basically get to buy this NFT, which right now has no use, no utility, no function associated with it. Again, so you are buying an NFT, but they're taking the money away from you. That's money being taken away from the chain, right? Away from the project. And what you're saying is, well, wait a minute, aren't you buying a project from I'm talking about the Stellar project, right? These leech tokens. And, and think about this. Doge Lumens, you've seen me. I've already covered quite a few of these on the channel. If you have 10, 15, 20 different types of products like Doge Lumens, that is just going to keep leeching and sucking off of that Stellar chain. The liquidity that could go to help the Stellar chain gets removed. Why? Because more people are participating in these projects here that are obviously complete ripoffs of Stellar. So let's take it back to the beginning, right? Yahoo, AOL, MySpace, Craigslist, all the early versions of those, and even Craigslist right now, it's all blown out by bots, spam, scams, and schemes, all right? We don't want the same thing to happen with Stellar, so what we need to start doing is thinking of ways to thwart activity like this. The best way I can think of, be informed. Look at these projects, look at the teams. Look at the team on here. They essentially covered the identities, right? of Jed, Danell, Tomer. You guys get my point here? Exactly. Companies taking value away from the chain instead of adding value to the chain. Now, really cool thing here. On Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're gonna be having a live stream where we talk about this and we're gonna talk about government CBDC usage. Yes, that is a hot topic that struck a lot of nerves. Can we trust the government with a CBDC project? Do we need a hybrid CBDC project? Or can we not trust the government at all and we have to stay with privatized CBDC projects? It's gonna be an interesting live stream. I suggest you check that one out. So again, it's gonna be Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you like amazing stellar content like this, you're always welcome to click right here. But if you like some cool stuff, you know, stealth camping, fishing, outdoors and activities, you're welcome to click right here. All right, everyone, take care.